Yo, some of you guys wanted me to review more videos by the Fresh and Fit podcast, and then others wanted me to review a video by Wes Watson. Thankfully, he appeared on the Fresh and Fit podcast. It's the perfect combination. How do you define success? And we'll start with uh, Bianca Kevo. How did I find success? How do you define success? What does that mean for you? Success is, you know, being free, being able to do what I want to do every day when I wake up. Mm -hmm. For you? That's actually the perfect definition. You naturally do what you want to do. Nobody controls you in any way. That's how life is in nature, except that today it's impossible. It feels like he's implying that he's living that kind of a life, which is absolutely impossible in the system. Yeah, same thing, being able to do what you want, when you want, and with whom you want. Uh... Which is absolutely impossible, seeing as we are more enslaved than any humans in history. And I really mean it. There's no examples of humans who were ever enslaved as much as we are now. We can't procreate with whoever we want to, which <laughs> was unthinkable even a hundred years ago. That's so crazy that it is like that right now. We can't even eat what we want to. Over a hundred years ago, that was unthinkable. Everybody was drinking blood. It was the norm. We can't even say what we want to, especially in the United States, which is, I believe, where this Fresh and Fit podcast is from. There's absolutely no free speech whatsoever. I could name uh, so much that you're not allowed to say, but uh, the irony is that I'm not allowed to say that on YouTube. Okay. Okay. <laughs> in my definition, success is a... This is Wes Watson. It's this guy on YouTube who used to be in prison. Some people say that he lies about how long he was in prison and that he's generally fake, but uh, supposedly he really was in prison simply for a shorter time than he says in his videos. He has all of these tattoos everywhere. He looks like he's on steroids. There's a lot of compensating going on. Uh, it's really fake masculinity. He's uh, really unbearable. Across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out. If you're not ripped on steroids, if you're not a junkie, if you don't go to the gym and reduce your lifespan for no reason, if you're not unhappy and unhealthy, that's really what he's saying. If you're not rich, as in what? Not having enough money, which doesn't even exist. You're a slave to something which doesn't exist. You're a slave then, do you understand that? That's incredibly far away from being free. If you actually believe in money and that it actually exists, and you actually chase it, then you're the definition of a slave. If you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean f to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb ass. But this is the whole point. You have a weakness. Change it, mother How the are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out? They're not going to listen to you. You're sitting there possessing that they don't want to have. So, I mean, this is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. Mother when you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about... He doesn't even realize that people are telling him that life is about procreating and creating a family and that's simply because that's what makes you happy. It's not all that life is about. You can't be fully happy if you don't eat raw meat, drink blood and so on. Eat like a natural human being, otherwise you will still have biochemical issues, but it's a huge step forward. He doesn't even hear that. He's living in a different reality. All that he sees is, and he doesn't of course see it because money doesn't exist, you can't sense it in any way, but it's in his head. He's so severely brainwashed that he's focused on money, which doesn't exist. Similar to Andrew Tate, that's all that he talks about essentially. Although his video about uh, cold showers, ice baths was really good. As I said, I made a review about it. Overall, Andrew Tate is incredibly wrong about almost everything he says. He's completely deep in the matrix. And this guy is also a perfect example of somebody who's in the matrix. He actually kind of looks similar in a way. Both of them are coping and compensating a lot. Point being, people try to tell him that that's not the way to happiness, but he doesn't get it. He's just too focused on the, his slave life. About muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray. It's not about being black and white. They are trying to tell you that that's not what life is about naturally. You can't become happy and healthy 
If you focus on something that doesn't exist, that should be common sense. Area, you have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. I, I roll in most rooms with successful entrepreneurs, and they're just, they're, it's pathetic. They'll have like a before and after picture of their fitness <laughs> and their after picture looks like their before pic. And I'm like, mother you're not embarrassed of this shit? Like, you have enough <laughs> If that was really the case, of course it would be embarrassing, but I doubt it. Money, and that's what you put out. You're that big of a bull Like, I, I just can't get behind anything. Those guys probably simply don't care about how they look like because they are not trying to compensate. Maybe some of them are good looking. Maybe they don't care about the gym. Did you ever think about that? It's not done at a high level. So knock the one thing off the board first, then the next thing, then the next thing. Jados is ripped, rich, and rare. I mean, the whole thing, what's rare mean to me? It means no vices. It means no drugs, no alcohol, no bullshit. Don't have to hide behind nothing. I mean. What? What? Everybody already knows that you're on drugs. You're an absolute junkie. <laughs> What's rich? I mean, you get to do what the f you want. You don't, I don't need you to be a billionaire to say you're rich or other people, they'll see that even I rent my place. It's 95,000 a month. But they're like, you rent your place. It's like, you dumb mother You don't understand. How can you do what you want? Doesn't he live in the United States? I'm pretty sure that he does. In the US, you have such horrible slave laws. As I said, you can't even procreate with who you want to. The US is one of the worst countries on earth when it comes to freedom, especially when it comes to that though. Even Europe is a lot better when it comes to that. And how, how to even operate at my level. People don't buy a $24 million house. They buy $24 million worth of properties that would bring them more money. You don't dump all that into that liability and live in some $24 million pad you bought, stupid. You make investments and you bring it back to this. He feels like he's tough because he's cursing a lot. So that's it. Some other comes up to me at the gym and he's like hey you should do your push-ups like this and i say why <laughs> so i can look like you mother and the guy's like oh no but like it, it looks like you're gonna hurt your shut the up dude I, i'm gonna end up with your chest if i do that shit. why would i want that or these mother go in my comments and i like i'll say shit on purpose he seems very miserable as if he's on a lot of adrenaline he's very stressed i don't think that anybody wants to be like him so i'm like rent or buy and if you ain't at the level to even do either of these, shut the f up and don't even participate. And they just get mad. It's like, you are you don't get to have an opinion if it's not an option for you. You don't get to say my chick's a BBL and her fake tits up for you. You couldn't get her, you dumb mother -er. You got a goddamn three. And that's the worst thing about these mother -ers. They try to give you relationship advice. Oh man, this guy, so similar to Andrew Tate, rating women, while Andrew Tate also talks about freeze and force or something, while all of his girlfriends are way below average. And that's because Andrew Tate is below average and uh, Wes Watson is also, most definitely. Are there any photos of Wes Watson's girlfriends? Um, I'll try to check online. I assume that this is his girlfriend? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the perfect couple. All of the tattoos, the beard, the sunglasses. Oh my god. And uh, she has breast implants, most definitely you can see that. Lip injections, probably something else, completely fake looking. I wouldn't say that she looks super bad, but she looks very fake, which is very off-putting. Uh, maybe there's more photos somewhere. Oh, is that another one? Uh, they look so fake, I can't even tell. The tattoos, the dyed hair, the fake teeth. Uh, again, everything is fake. People like him can only attract fake women. It's just impossible for him to attract anybody good looking, any girl who's in any way natural. Fake people only hang out with other fake people. The way he was talking before is as if he believes that people are jealous of him or what? Who on earth would want to be together with somebody so insanely fake? Uh, I can't imagine. Uh, I would run away. Mother you got a borderline Miami 2. That's like a, that's like a Mississippi 6. Like, what the f are you talking about? Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a 2, mother f Shut up. Oh my god. Does he really believe that his girlfriend is a 10? The one with the darker hair looked better. Maybe if she was almost average? I can't tell because she looks so fake. The one with the blonde hair? I don't know if it was the same one. You can't even tell because they look so fake. I assume that it wasn't. She looked insanely bad. That was a two or a three. If you really want to rate people. <laughs> what? Ten. 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 What are you talking about, man? 
A 10 would be a natural beauty. Women who do so much plastic surgery especially cannot be 10s because a 10 wouldn't change the way she looks like, right? A 10 would never even think about changing anything about her looks. No hair dyeing, no tattoos to compensate, especially if she's traumatized. Nothing whatsoever because she's perfect and she knows it. <laughs> That's what a 10 is which is insanely rare. My definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel. I'll probably maybe be the lone dissenter, but my definition of success is having a family, having children. Wow, I'm glad to hear that. That is exactly how it naturally is. A successful man is one with a lot of children. He has a family, which is his tribe. You hunt, you get the best meat. That is a truly successful, natural, happy and healthy man. These guys are insanely insecure, coping and compensating nonstop. They are super adrenalized, stressed, on drugs. It's just as far away from successful as you possibly could be. We'll see what else this guy says. And being part of the apparatus of the world and true wealth is a rejection of materialism, as Christ said himself. Wow, uh, wow, who is this guy? Why did they let him on the podcast? Uh, he's completely right, exactly. And uh, true wealth, if anything, is having uh, a large family. That's it. Money doesn't even exist. Uh, you can't have something that doesn't exist, literally. It's in your head. But uh, children exist, food exists. You're trying to go for a single thing. And it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have money. But but here's the thing. Why is why is money <laughs> valuable? I'm a, just, do you have why, money? What is money valuable? Oh man, if I was there, I would ask him, "Does money exist?" He would say, "Yes, of course, money exists." Then I would ask him, "Where is it? Show it to me." I would explain it all to him. I don't even think that he would understand it because uh, you actually have to be at least a little bit intelligent to understand this. Four. I'm just asking, do you have money? I just said no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really no, and you also don't because it doesn't exist. <laughs> Idiot, man. <laughs> this is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being, have, being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? If he does have money, he can't say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say it? Why must you have the thing? Because you, because before I, you, hang, on, hang on, let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. I don't even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed well, to I ask the question. Hmm? That's not the... What does he even mean? That's not the definition of hypocritical whatsoever. <sighs> He's so crazy wrong about everything he says. After you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you look at the studies done on this, it does not... I don't hugely, fit no fucking studies, It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the f*** you are? Why, why, why well, look at, are you proud? Get? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's proud of who the fuck he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your f***ing shirt because off. I've been... Tell me your Proud because yourself. I've been to f***ing prison? Jesus Christ, because look I've been at to you, prison? bro. You got tenant arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. No, guys. they go to prison where they get f***ing yeah, up the ass. Fuck yeah, they do. never been to prison. Look, <laughs> that's you what talk happens. shit you don't know. They go to prison uh, where they get f***ing up the ass. You get your ass hold on, hold on, beat in front of everybody. You think that that's guys, better? Guys, you think guys. that that's better? Okay. Let's let him give his, his definition of success. And then Having tits. And ten inch arms let's, is what a man is. Let's, you let guys. Him, let's let him. Please get his, don't listen to that. Wes, let's let him get his his thing out and then. <laughs> we can have different opinions. Yeah. Anyway, back to where I was at. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Prison. But anyway, if you want, <laughs> if you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And yes, I do think I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society. And I do think that true wealth is the family. And I think that true wealth is having a wife and true wealth. That is what I think it is. And that is what I think truly success is, is being able to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's no. what Yes. And um, showing love towards your children, your children love you. That's when you really feel wealthy so to speak. Nowadays, people believe that having money, which doesn't exist, <laughs> makes you wealthy, which is, you could even say a mental illness. If you're actually obsessed with something that doesn't exist, think about it. It's one thing if you're obsessed with something that does exist, something that you can actually sense. It may still be a stupid obsession if you're obsessed with collecting 
Pokemon cards or golf clubs or whatever, but uh, at least it's real. Here's my stud dad right there standing there. Do you have that stud right there with you, the shirt off. Do you have children? Look at that stud. Do you, do you have children? I do have children. How many? I have two. You have two. So are you saying that your Bugatti and your money and everything else is worth more than your children? Dad, my dad's a superhero. Look. He's ignoring the question. Uh, of course, he would have to admit that his children are worth more than everything, uh, except if he doesn't love his children. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that is a product. I, dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, So you're going to attack okay. straight gonna, All right, all right, all right. All right. Do you usually attack this arms in, in Florida? <laughs> Dude, All right. Look at your goddamn self. Okay, guys, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a pathetic mother. Okay, okay. Well, chill out. He is very triggered by the guy. Insanely triggered. Why would you get so triggered by somebody simply saying that true wealth is having a wife and family because he has his Christian so-called values? You would just say, "All right, that's your opinion." The guy is not biochemically well whatsoever. How could anybody possibly listen to him? Only people who are messed up the same way he is actually listened to the guy. Is giving what, someone what, an expensive what you, watch. Would any of you guys really hang out with these guys? This is not an argument. Like, Jesus Christ. They're skilled, they're skilled at some things. Oh, whoever hey, fucking said hey, that. Hang on, so, that bass guy right there just said, hell yes, yes shut up, that's hilarious. You're awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Sorry. The whole crowd says, yeah, we'd hang out with them. Different yeah, guys this, on the this panel. is why most people don't invite me, guys, please. Guys. Different guys yeah, on the we panel can tell. <laughs> have different skill sets and different things that they bring to the table. <laughs> we can tell his tits are all jiggling. He's got like a half a fucking jelly donut. Hey, bro, your toupee, it's still back there in the back. Go get it. I, I shaved my head, you little fucking Are you sure they, are you sure you, you okay, shave your okay, head? Okay, or? okay, okay, okay. Why do you shave your head? It's the same as Andrew Tate. Either show that you're losing hair and uh, don't shave it if you're not uh, insecure about the way you look like, which of course he is which is why he has the tattoos, the beard, the sunglasses, where's the clothes that he wears and is obsessed with jewelry and whatnot. It's all about compensating, of course. That's what Andrew Tate also does. They are very similar. But my point is that if you weren't insecure about your hair loss, then you would just show it the way it is. Or get a hair transplant if you can, but of course he can't because he doesn't even have enough hair left in general. That's the problem with these guys. They are insanely insecure, which is why they shave their heads. Otherwise, you would just let it grow. <laughs> we got All right. Go ahead, Miguel. <laughs> we're on Rumble, right? Yeah. yeah. We're on YouTube, too. This was the first full video that I ever saw by Wes Watson. I've seen his YouTube channel, but I only watched uh, maybe a minute or two of some of his videos because they were recommended to me. He always seemed very fake. I didn't know that it's this bad. He's super insecure about his looks for a reason, of course. He doesn't look good. That's just how it is. And this is probably why he feels like he needs to attack everybody. It's not normal biochemically to be in this state where you're constantly attacking everybody around you and where you get so offended simply by somebody stating an opinion saying that they don't agree with you. It's completely fine if somebody has a different opinion than you about how to live your life. If somebody says that true wealth is about having a family and wife because they have these Christian values, then uh, why not? I would just say, all right, that's your Christian belief. I'm not religious. I believe that religions are for brainwashed people seeing as you need to be brainwashed and lost to get into religions. But um, at least we share this common um, belief that life is about uh, procreating, having a family, and then on top of that about eating naturally, which Christians partly agree with from my experience, but then some don't really want to drink blood because the Bible supposedly says that, but that's just the New Testament, the Old Testament, was actually very much pro-blood. The Bible really originally was a pro-blood book. It was all about drinking blood, uh, for real. Unfortunately, the new brainwashed Christians don't realize it anymore. And that's simply because back when the Bible was written, it was written by way more natural people. Later on, uh, they were enslaved more and more. The guys on the left are all enslaved and the guys on the right are also, they still understand way more what life is about. Whereas the guys on the left are 
completely lost, uh, full of drugs, adrenaline, insecure. And these are the people who are trying to teach men how to be successful in life, which is an absolute joke. <laughs> Thanks for watching.